Gen Kids. Welcome back to Gen Kids Live. I'm Miss Brooklyn, and we were so happy that we were able to see some of you guys this Sunday. Um, just to visit with you guys, we are still having our Gen Kids Live online until our classes open back up. But if you guys want to come in and visit us on Sunday, we'll be here to see you guys. And we'll be sure to let you know as soon as we start having our Gen Kids classes in person again. So if you just want to click the link down below to do some worship today, we're going to have an awesome time together. Hi kids, so we have a pretty awesome game for you and a game that you can play at your house as long as you have disposable cups. So our first team is on the blue team, Brooklyn. And on the green team, Miss Johnette. Now this is mother versus daughter. So we will see who's gonna hit the championship round. All right, kids, make sure you picked your team. Are you the blue team or are you the green team? Now we wanna hear you shouting all the way from home. So we, you need to get riled up, okay? So I'm gonna say, on your mark, get set, go. And when I say go, guys, you can go, all right? On your mark, get set, go! Oh no, will she catch up? <gasps> oh no! <laughs> oh! Yay, the green team! Oh no, blue team. Okay, for round two, we have Pastor Darren on the blue team and Miss Sarah on the green team. This time it's husband versus wife. Let's see who wins. All right, guys, let's hear you guys cheer for Pastor Darren or Miss Sarah. Come on, guys, let's go. Ready, get set, go. All right, I, I don't know, I think Sarah's doing pretty well. Oh, they're kind of neck and neck. Oops, Sarah's in the lead. All right, I think Pastor Darren on his knees has a little bit of a disadvantage. All right, Miss Sarah's in the lead. Let's go, green team. Come on, blue team, you can do it. Come on. Oh, uh-oh. Sarah won, green team. Okay, here we are, the championship round. Miss Johnette, the green team, versus Miss Sarah, the blue team. All right, who do you guys think is gonna win? I don't know, I don't know, they're pretty talented. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, I'm a little bit nervous. All right, ready? On your marks. Get set, go. Okay, okay, we've got a little bit of a different, Different strategies here. We've got Miss Johnette going from the front. Miss Sarah going from the side. Oh, she doesn't know what she's gonna do there. Okay. Okay, the green's looking pretty good. Okay, there we go. She fumbled just a little bit. Okay, oh, oh. Oh, I don't know. Oh, 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 no! Oh! This is a crazy turn of events. I don't know what's going on. Okay, and Miss Johnette, I guess, is the winner. That was a little bit crazy. What do you have to say about winning? How do you feel? Yo, Adrian! Yeah! Thanks for watching! When he saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst, 
for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Hi kids, what an awesome video to be able to hear from all of your teachers. And that was a sermon given by Jesus. And so we're talking about the very first point that he made, which was, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So I know when you guys hear the word poor, you probably just think, oh, someone who doesn't have a lot of money, or maybe you think you're poor because you don't have a very big allowance or whatever it is that you think of, but that's actually not what we should think of. When Jesus said this, he was saying it because it gives us a reminder of our need for God. The fact that we don't need to be right about whatever it is we think we need to be right about, but really that we need to depend on God and what he has for our lives, that he's the answer, that even though we have done so many wrong things because all of us have sinned and all of us fall short of his glory. So we need this reminder and that's why Jesus said it to us, blessed are the poor in spirit. So I encourage all of you when, before you go to bed, to talk to your parents about this. Talk to them about what it means to surrender your life to Jesus and what it means to truly realize that you need him and that he's our ultimate answer. So I just thank you guys for tuning in and I hope you guys have an awesome week and hopefully we'll see you next week. All right, bye guys. Hi guys, it's announcement time. If you didn't know, last week we were able to meet in the church building. It was so fun being able to see you guys and we hope that you will all come visit us next Sunday. We have some super fun special Gen Kids activities that you guys can do while you're sitting in service. Our regular classes are still online, Gen Kids Live right now, and we'll be sure to let you know as soon as we're able to reopen those for in-person classes. Make sure you guys are following along on our Instagram, Gen Kids Sack, so you can get all kinds of fun updates. We're gonna be releasing some really exciting info about VBS super soon, so make sure you're looking for that. And lastly, we also have super awesome Gen Kids shirts that we just released. We have it in orange, green, and black. So make sure when you come visit us on Sunday that you come and check out our merch area. We have some super awesome shirts. Make sure you get one of those so you can be the light in your community. Awesome, thank you so much for joining us guys and we'll see you next week, bye. Thank you.